Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 1, Number Systems, Exercise 1.5. Question number 1. Classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. So what is a rational number? A number which can be expressed in the form of P by Q, where Q not equal to 0 and P and Q are integers. Irrational means the number which cannot be expressed in the form of P by Q. Where P and Q are indices is called the irrational. Okay, first one is 2 minus root 5. So here we can say root 5. Root 5 is not an integer. That means this is a irrational number. Correct. A, a number. Integer minus irrational number means answer is irrational only. Right. So this is an irrational number. Irrational number. Next step. 3 plus root 23 minus root 23. So if you are uh, removing the bracket means this become 3 plus root 23 minus root 23. Right. Root 23 minus root 23 is 0 only. So we will get the answer as 3. 3 means we can write as 3 by 1. Where 3 and 1 are integers. And q not equal to 0. So this is satisfying the condition of rational numbers. So, so what we can write this 3 plus uh, root 3 minus root 3 is a rational number. Rational number. Third one, 2 root 7 by 7 root 7. That means in numerator root 7 and root 7 is there. So we can cancel root 7 root 7. So we will get the answer as 2 by 7. Correct. 2 by 7 means both the 2 and the 7 are integers and the 7 not equal to 0 also. So this one is a rational number. rational number. Fourth one 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 root 2 root 2 is an irrational number. Correct. So this one 1 by root 2 is also an irrational number. Irrational number. 2 pi. The pi is an irrational number. Correct. So 2 into pi means again it is an if you are multiplying an irrational number with the 2 or integer means the answer become an integer uh, sorry irrational number only. Correct. So, this 2 pi is an irrational number. Irrational number. Question number 2. Simplify each of the following expressions. First one, 3 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 2. So, just we need to open the bracket. So, 3 into 2 plus root 2 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 2. 3 into 2, 6. 3 into root 2, 3 root 2. Root 3 into uh, 2 is 2 root 3. Root 3 into root 2 is root 3 into root 2. So in one, in one root we can write. In one root, 3 into 2 is 6. Root 6 we can write. Plus root 6. So here no like them. So this is the final answer. 6 plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 6. Second one. 3 plus root 3 into 3 minus root 3. This is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. Identity right. a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. Here a equal to 3 b equal to root 3. So this equation we can write as a square. That means 3 square minus b. b is root 3. Root 3 square. So 3, uh, 3 square is 9. Minus root 3 square. That means root 3 into root 3. The same number roots we are multiplying means directly we can write the answer as 3 only. That means root will go. Otherwise in one bracket. 3 into 3, 9. Root 9 answer is 3. Any one way we can write. Anyway, root 3 into root 3 is 3. Without a root, we can write. So, 9 minus 3 is 6. Third one, root 5 plus root 2 the whole square. So, again, this is the identity. A plus B the whole square. A plus B the whole square equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. Here a equal to root 5, b equal to root 2. So a square, that means root 5 square plus b square. Root 2 
square plus 2ab. 2 into root 5 into root 2. So root 5 square. Root 5 into root 5. Answer is 5. Root 2 into root 2. Answer is 2. Plus 2 into root 5 into root 2. Root 10. Here 5 and 2 we can add. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 root 10. This is the answer. Fourth one, root 5 minus root 2 into root 5 plus root 2. So again this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. Answer is a square minus b square. The same identity. Here a equal to root 5. Root 5 square minus b is root 2. Root 2 square. So root 5 square means root 5 into root 5. Answer is root 25. 5 minus root 2 into root 2 means 2. 5 minus 2, answer is 3. Question number 3. Recall pi is defined as the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter. That means pi is represented as c by d. That means circumference of the circle to the diameter. This seems to the contradict the fact that pi is irrational. How will you resolve this contradiction? So pi, we know that pi is an irrational number, right? So this is expressed in the form of c by d. c means the circumference of the circle and d is the diameter of the circle. So if you are measuring the circumference of the circle, this is the circumference, right? Circumference and uh, diameter of circle means we will get exactly two integers means what we can say this pi equal to pi. The pi is expressed in the form of p by q where q not equal to 0 and p and q are integers. But it is not sure that the circumference is always we get an integer. Sometimes we will get an irrational number also, right? That means a non-terminating, non-recurring number we will get. So what we can say? That time pi is what? Pi is an irrational number only. Otherwise we can say pi equal to c by d. Okay. So, so what is the circumference of the circle? Circumference is 2 pi r, right? So 2 in 2 r means what we can write? 2 r means the double of the uh, uh, 2r means 2 into radius. That means what? Pi, uh, diameter. So pi d, the circumference we can write as pi d also. That means d equal to 2 into radius. Diameter is the double of the radius also, right? So pi d by, if this equation means c is, we can write as pi d, divided by d means what we will get? Pi only we will get. That means pi is what? Irrational number only. That means there is no contradiction. The pi is always an irrational number only. So either you can write the circumference of the circumference of the circle. We will measure. We will get like an irrational number. That means non uh, non repeating, sorry non terminating, non recurring number. Or we can write the circumference of the circle is two pi r. That means pi d. And the diameter will cancel. Means again we will get pi only. That means the pi is always an irrational number. There is no contradiction. Anyone you can. Mention. Question number 4. Represent root 9.3 on the number line. For representing root 9.3 on the number line, first we need to draw a line, a straight line with the 9.3 measurement. So that line I call it as AB. Draw a line AB, AB equal to 9.3. 9.3. So this one we can mark it as AB. I mark it as AB equal to 9.3 centimeter. Again we need to take 1 more centimeter from B to C. So that one BC is 1 centimeter we can take. This one B to C is 1 centimeter. This point I mark it as C and this much of distance is 1 centimeter. This much of distance is 9 centimeter also. Next, so what is the total distance of A to C? A to, A to C distance is now 9.3 plus 1 is 10.3. Next, we need to find the half of this 10.3. That means 10.3 divided by 2. So, it will come as 5.15, right? 5.15, Okay, 5.15. So we need to find the midpoint of this AC. That means 5.15 is the midpoint of this AC.
5.15. So this one is the midpoint. That point I mark it as O. This point I mark it as O. Okay. Then next we need to do means taking OC as the radius. OC or OA. Anything you can take. OC as the radius. Draw a semicircle passing through both A and C. OC or OA as the radius, uh, draw a semicircle passing through both A and C. Next we need to do means, from the B, we need to draw a perpendicular. From B, we need to draw a perpendicular that should intersect the semicircle at a point D. This point we can mark it as D. So next step we need to take this this O D sorry this B D. This B D is actually called what root 9.3. This B D measurement is root of 9.3. But this one we need to represent on the number line. That means this one we need to extend to the number line. Correct. So that means what we need to do. We need to draw the arc. So before that let me extend this line. Okay. So next we need to take. Take with the B as center. BD as radius. Because we need to BD is root 9.3. This one only we are going to uh, represent on the number line. Throw this BD as radius. This one you need to draw. With the B as center, BD as radius, draw a line which intersect on the uh, number line. One point. This point I mark it as M. This point I mark it as M. M equal to root of 9.3. This is the point on the number line. Question number 5. Rationalize the denominator of the following. First one, 1 by root 7. Rationalize the denominator means we need to avoid the root in the denominator. So we need to avoid the root in the denominator. What we need to do? We need to multiply the same number with the both the numerator and the denominator. Correct. If there is two numbers means we need to change the sign and multiply. Here only one number, root 7. So in order to avoid the root means what we need to do? We need to multiply root 7 with the denominator. That means root will go, right? So if you are multiplying denominator with one number means the same number we need to multiply the numerator also. Why? In order to balance the value of the equation. So here only one number. So the same number we can take and multiply both the numerator and the denominator. So we can multiply numerator and denominator with the root 7 by root 7. So answer is 1 into root 7 is root 7. Root 7 into root 7. Root 7 into root 7 means root will go. Otherwise root 49. Answer is 7. So we will get the answer as root 7 by root 7 by 7. That means we rationalize the denominator. That means there is no root in the denominator. Correct. Second one, 1 by root 7 minus root 6. So here also we need to rationalize the denominator. That means we are going to avoid the root in the denominator. For that purpose we are multiplying both the numerator and denominator with the root 7 plus root 6. That means the denominator we are going to convert in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So which number we are multiplying in the denominator the same number we need to multiply on the numerator in order to balance the value of the equation. Correct. So here we are multiplying into root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 plus root 6. So now the denominator in the form of a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b what is the answer? a square minus b square right equal to a square minus b square. So in numerator nothing is there. So 1 into root 7 plus root, uh, root 6 is root 7 plus root 6 only. Divided by denominator a plus b into a minus b form. Correct. Here a is root 7, b is root 6, a square. That means root 7 square minus b square, uh, root 6 square equal to root 7 plus root 6 
divided by root 7 square. Root 7 square answer is 7. Root 6 square answer is 6 minus 6. So what is the answer? 7 minus 6 is 1. So we will get the answer as root 7 plus root 6 divided by 1. That should be equal to what? Root 7 plus root 6. Anything you can write. So we here we avoid the so nothing is there means what? 1, right? So here we rationalize the denominator. Question number 3. 1 by root 5. 1 by root 5 plus root 2. Root 5 plus root 2. So here also we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator with the root 5 minus root 2. Root 5 minus root 2 root 5 minus root 2. The same number we are multiplying. This cancel means there is no change in the equation, actual equation, right? So the numerator become root 5 minus root 2 divided by a plus b into a minus b form. a square that means root 5 square minus root 2 square equal to root 5 minus root 2 divided by root 5 square. So what is the root 5 square? 5. Root 2 square is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Right. So this one we can write as root 5 minus root 2 divided by 3. So this is the answer. Fourth one. 1 by root 7 minus 2. Again root 7 minus 2. So we need to change the symbol and multiply. That means root 7 plus 2 Divide by root 7 plus 2. Both the numerator and denominator we need to multiply. So numerator become 1 into root 7 plus 2 is root 7 plus 2 only. Divide by this is also in the form of a plus b into a minus b. Right. So a square. Here a is root 7. Root 7 square minus b square. That is 2 square. Equal to root 7 plus 2 divided by root 7 square. Root 7 into root 7 is 7 minus 2 square is 4. So we can write root 7 plus 2 divided by 7 minus 4 is 3. So the answer is root 7 plus 2 by 3. So the denominator now not in the form of root, right? So this is called a rationalized denominator. So here this is the answer for the rationalized denominator of these questions. This is the answer.